ladies and gentlemen, Harley Davidson's first Street Fighter. Shelly, what do you think? It's definitely something I'm glad Harley Davidson got into this market and built. This is, this is really cool. Can you tell us a little bit about the type of customer that would walk into your store and be interested in this type of, of motorcycle? I believe it's going to be a, a customer, an existing Harley Davidson customer, but definitely a new customer for us. And I think the dealers are going to have an opportunity to drive different traffic in the dealership to be able to, to encourage a whole different type of riding for our customer. Yeah, Shelly's right. Street Fighters are a style of motorcycles that are growing in popularity with young riders, women, and also new riders. You see these riders around town, but not in your stores today, and that's what we're going to change. Shelly, thank you so much for thank sharing this with us. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. are and how they like to ride. So this is a rider who enjoys the cut and thrust of navigating traffic, the feel and the sound of rapid acceleration and hard braking. And on a Saturday night, they'd rather show up on their bike than in a taxi, and they'll park right out front. And they may use the street fighter to commute to work, and it's going to be the highlight of their day. And some days they ride out of the city and explore the back roads. This bike will open a world of new possibilities for a street fighter rider that is looking for the best. And Harley Davidson will offer a motorcycle that's going to compete head to head with the leaders in the category. There's no doubt, Heather. The Street Fighter fits the category to a T. It's a naked roadster with a unique Harley Davidson look, sound, and feel, with V twin power tuned and geared for urban riding. The bike will be quick and agile. Minimal bodywork reveals its dark mechanical beauty. And this motorcycle looks raw, but it is well equipped with technology that appeals to a connected generation. Now we know you're all that you need to get the specs in the model name. And we promise to get all of that information to you when we launch. <laughs> okay, so now let's consider a different rider with another perspective on motorcycling. A rider who imagines a world that has no boundaries. And for this rider, we're going to offer unlimited adventure and freedom. And let's welcome one of your fellow dealers who knows these riders well and is one himself. From my home country of Scotland, welcome the Managing Director of West Coast Harley-Davidson, John Rutherford. So Don, what was your reaction when you first heard that Harley-Davidson was going to be producing an adventure touring motorcycle? Excited beyond words. It's just amazing the opportunity of it again. Just, I, just like, I feel like a kid at Christmas, just about to unwrap his, uh, for his first bicycle. Just fantastic. That's great. So, shall we let people see what's under the covers? Go. Thank you. Ready? Are you all ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Harley Davidson Pan America. So, Don, tell us a little bit about the opportunity that you see in Scotland and maybe even across Europe for a motorcycle like that. They're, they're massive, Heather, absolutely massive. You know, everywhere I ride um, or on the roads of Scotland and Europe, there are more and more adventure motorcycles. They make up uh, something like 20% of our market, which is just to give you some perspective, about three times the size of the sports tour and touring market. So, it's a huge opportunity yeah. for us dealers, an, an opportunity we haven't really had. So it's a, it's a great, I'm really excited. Great. Really excited. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much, Don, for helping us with the reveal. Say hi to everybody in Scotland. Thanks. So, Don is spot on. There is a new segment in the US and across the rest of the world, and that's a lot of ground to cover. Let's spend a little time on why we know this bike will be a tough competitor in this segment. With high ground clearance, Capable longer travel suspension and aggressive tires, this motorcycle is ready to tackle adventures on unpaved roads through the desert or the mountains or even across the Great Plains. Right now, we're running it through the paces at our new off road test course in Arizona. We will create our own space in the adventure touring market. The design will be deliberate departure from the generic look that prevails in this segment. The new Pan America will be premium, yet rugged and utilitarian, with some distinctive Harley Davidson features. We'll give Pan America the character of Harley Davidson V-Twin power, long-range fuel capacity, and modern connectivity. 
Available luggage will give it touring capability and it will be a blast to ride. These riders will only have one thing to say when they saddle up on Pan America. Get the hell out of my way. <laughs> okay, so with the Pan America and our Street Fighter, we're going to provide new access for riders who might never otherwise have considered the Harley Davidson brand. And by the time these new models reach your dealerships, another Harley Davidson new product revolution will be well underway. And to help us show off one of our most anticipated products ever, let's welcome from right here in town, San Diego Harley Davidson's Ty Miller. everyone to San Diego, fellow dealers, and the motor company. Well, what do you say, Ty? Let's take the covers off of Harley Davidson's first production electric motorcycle. Let's do it. awesome. I remember when Project Livewire came to San Diego Harley four years ago and our customers were blown away riding it and looking at the finished product, I can't wait to get our local riders on this bike. Agreed, agreed. Tell us a little bit about the excitement that you see for electric products or electric vehicles in San Diego. I think it's massive. California is a dominant market uh, in the EV space and uh, that space is currently majority cars, so I'm excited to see how that transfers over to motorcycles, and who better to do it than our great American brand, Harley Davidson. Agreed. Anybody think this is gonna be more fun than the scooters you're seeing around town? <laughs> I think so. Ty, thank you so much for helping us take a look at our EV future. <laughs> With the introduction of Livewire, in just one year from now, we'll take a leadership position in the electric vehicle space. This will be a bold and historic event for the company and all of you dealers. And the excitement for electric transportation that Ty was talking about is really echoed worldwide. Electric vehicles hold a strong appeal for those who embrace the city life. And EVs from Harley Davidson are going to open up a whole new world of twist and go freedom. And we know from our research that these urban customers want to be ahead of the game. They crave excitement, exhilaration, and independence. And they put a high value on cool factors. We intend to deliver that big time. We also know that many of our existing customers are equally excited about Harley Davidson's development of EVs. This is just the beginning of building out a broad and exciting portfolio of electric powered products. Now, let's take a look at our first electric vehicle, Livewire. Now, what you can see is the Livewire electric motorcycle we bring to market for model year 2020 will look very different from the Project Livewire prototypes that we showed all of you and the public in 2014. Now what you can't see is that our new live wire will offer significantly more power and a lot more range. For the urban rider, we will offer a no excuses electric motorcycle. No excuses for performance, comfort, or style. And oh by the way, it's gonna sound fantastic. Yes it will. And so with Livewire, we have established our reputation for innovation in design, performance, technical leadership, and quality in the electric vehicle segment. And with its introduction, we're demonstrating that we're not only ready to grow with the EV market, we're going to establish a leadership position. And speaking of growth, in very short order, we'll expand our line of electric vehicles to appeal to many more urban customers seeking two-wheeled freedom. Two-wheeled freedom that's nimble, versatile, and easy to own and ride in the city or on campus. And we have little doubt that in the near future, electric vehicles are going to change the face of urban transportation. To successfully build out the Harley-Davidson EV offering, you will have to embrace a new group of customers, and you'll need to make an investment in infrastructure and in service and sales training. So be sure to check out the regional breakout sessions on EV readiness this week. Dealers, our product plan for the future is in place. These three prototypes represent just a part of a product strategy that will give more riders, new riders, and current riders in regions across the globe access to the Harley-Davidson brand. Work continues at the Willie G. Davidson Product Development Center and at the Proving Grounds in Arizona as we finalize the design of these 
and even more innovative products that will allow us to reach new markets and new riders that will sustain our business in the years ahead. And your work begins now too. Challenge everyone in your dealership to think differently and find new ways to welcome and serve these new customers. Harley-Davidson dealers.